What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here in Florida and I have test driven a lot of different Class A RVs on the channel, but I've never test driven a Class C. Behind me is a 2022 East to West Entrada on the Ford F53 chassis. And this is the same chassis that a lot of the Class C's out there are on. So I want to give you guys an honest review and we're hanging out with the celebrity today, Matt. What's going on, Andrew? We're hanging out and we're camping today. Now, have has have you ever done a test drive video on your channel in this coach? No, I have not. So this is gonna be a first review? It is. Let's roll, buddy. All right, well, the only rules is, Andrew, I'm riding, what's the opposite of shotgun? Driver? Oh no, shotgun, yes, I'm riding <laughs> shotgun. This was uh, not planned, I just thought, I wanted to drive this just just to feel it for size. I rode with Matt uh, a couple weeks ago. I was pretty impressed, so I wanted to drive it and get behind the wheel myself and give you guys an honest review. And we've got a huge announcement to make. Matt's got some huge stuff cooking that uh, we haven't shared yet or I haven't shared on my channel yet that we're going to share here later in this video. But we've got to give a huge thanks to RV Snap Pad for sponsoring today's video. RV Snap Pad is the world's only permanent jack pad. If you own a fifth wheel, motorhome, travel trailer, or truck camper, this is definitely a product you want to check out. Snap pads are made to snap into your levelers or stabilizer system and stay there for good. With snap pads installed, your RV will benefit from increased stability and protection for each landing foot. No more sinking into soft surfaces and you don't have to climb under your rig to retrieve your jack pads either. We've partnered with snap pad to offer our viewers a special discount on a set of snap pads. Simply click the link in the description below, submit your RV info, and get an instant snap pad recommendation for your rig. Then you can use the coupon code in the description below for a 10% discount. RV snap pads are made in the USA and give a special thanks to all of the veterans and first responders. Let's get started here. So I like the keys here and I uh, cracked a Red Bull. Thanks, Matt, for the Red Bull. Well, Andrew, before you get started, it's yeah. a little hot. And one of my favorite features is I want to get the generator on. Boom, just like that. I don't nice. need to get up and push that button all the way in the back. Cool. So you did a walk around. We're good to go. Yeah, I got my new license plate on. Yeah, nice uh, new license plate. I am going to roll this window up, window up because generator is a little bit loud that's my first ah uh, okay well you can turn it off no it's okay i want to up oh, andre i don't think she wants to be on camera right now she's no she does not no <laughs> she's like please no like a lot of people might look at the rv and think it's messy andrew can you read that odometer right there Ten thousand five hundred eleven miles on a 2022 you've been putting some miles down listen me and my yuna and my andrea we travel a lot in this motorhome so yeah, all right. I'm ready to roll here, but I do, I'm gonna kill this generator just because yeah, we don't yeah. need the ACs. No, no reason to burn gas if it's not. So I just hit the stop button here. Yep. I really like That's that. That's an start awesome stop feature. That def now, is that an option or is that standard? So I believe so. Um, Forest River with the generator shortages, they went away from Cummins and they switched to the Yamaha generators, and I believe that comes with all the Yamaha generators. Nice. It's even cooler for like the toy hauler customers that, you know, um, they have the toy haulers. They could do it remotely while they're driving in their pickup truck. Oh yeah. I really like this too, with this big screen right here. It is a little dirty. We need to get your, uh, your coats Dang. washed here, but. Well, I, good thing I know a good detailer. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, Those days are behind you. I've been out of that business. Uh, a lot, lot of great detail companies out there uh, that I leave that to, and I have a lot of respect for those guys. Respect. Funny thing, so you guys might know, Andrew and I started playing tennis together. So Andrew picked me up at my house one day, and there's this guy detailing across the street, and he was like, oh my God, it's Andrew Steele. So that, that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, no, a lot of good guys out there. So, so right away, um, I've got to say, it's not quite as noisy as I would expect. You know, we do have the engine up front here and the exhaust. I kind of hear the exhaust in the back of the coach here, but 
uh, very responsive, especially it's got 10,000 miles. So it's been, you know, it's not brand, brand new. Uh, what else is going on with this coach? Well, so one thing I want to point out, I love this right here. And there you go. You can now see it. When you put your side blinker on, I oh, hate yeah. that. Really? Because, I, I, I do because for me, it's just easier just to see who's behind me at all times because it's like the reverse camera angle so good that the side cameras don't really make a difference. Okay, I do like, you know, just the blind spot just to have that. We'll see on the freeway how much uh, I utilize that, but I don't I'm a fan personally of that. And I do have to say like this, this newer 2022, you know, I remember driving, I had to put the seat back, well, I guess it's all the way back. I do remember driving, you know, older Ford F53s uh, and the steering wheel is just super responsive. It's very smooth. Yes. Um, I'm not feeling as much reaction in the steering wheel as I used to in older models. Well, I mean, it is the 7.3 liter V8. Godzilla! Here's one thing that I will say. So, um, when I lived in Maryland and I drove to Florida, I got to take the RVs whenever. And when I was driving the V10s, okay, I would set it on cruise control on 95. And when you go up a little hill... Wait, wait hold on. 95 miles per hour or 95 no, no, the interstate? No, interstate 95. Okay. I had to clarify that. Right. So, when you go up a little hill in North Carolina... Like, let's say you have it set for 70 miles an hour, right? Cruise control. When you go up a little hill, naturally it slows you down to 65. Well, the cruise control would rev your engine up to four or 5,000 RPMs because the brain was like, hey, I gotta get it to 70 miles an hour, cruise control. What I really like, you're making a left in the next light. Okay. What I really like about this new cruise control is if when and we'll set it on the highway if we're at 60 miles an hour and it's set for 70 miles an hour it's not gonna rev the rpms up to 5,000 rpms just to get 70 70 miles an hour it will it will accelerate you to 70 miles an hour but without gradually gradually yeah i like that no and, and with technology it's just crazy how much technology is coming along now i rented a u-haul truck recently and I don't feel like that U-Haul was quite, maybe it had more miles or wasn't serviced as good as yours was or, but it was a newer U-Haul truck on, on the same chassis and it just wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't as smooth as this for whatever reason, I don't know. You're getting all the way over in the left lane? Truck. Super smooth. Now I'm looking forward to seeing the acceleration on the interstate here. Now, before we accelerate on the interstate, I gotta give everybody a huge announcement my guy Matt here, this guy is an entrepreneur. I know you guys see him in the videos, having a good time reviewing RVs, but he is a serious entrepreneur behind the scenes. You just had a big video on your channel showing a lot of the work you're putting in behind the scenes. You wanna let them all know what you're getting thank into? Thank you, thank you, Andrew. So, uh, yeah, my last video, we just had a huge science fair project to figure out which formulas for black tank formulas is the absolute best. The reasons why is because we're starting our own brand of RV toilet chemical. Uh, you're gonna wanna be in the left lane. Yes, sir. Our brand's called Liquefied. It will be on sale in Amazon by the end of November. And we're not just putting our name on something, Andrew. We did a whole, we had one of the most boring videos on YouTube ever, but it was the full experiment so you guys could see what we did to find the perfect formula of what would work for us. And then we partnered with this company based out in Indiana called Century Chemical. They've been making chemicals for 95 years. Guys, we're bringing you the best product. Um, we're, we're bringing you the best product in the black tank industry. It truly, truly is. Yeah, how many, how many, in your experiment that you did in your video, how many different chemicals did you test? 15, yeah. 15, and I'm telling you, you guys are watching this, and you're gonna say, well, did he use the brand I use? I did. I used the top 15 best sellers to figure out which ones work the best, and, um, and just wait till the product comes out. It's gonna be really, really exciting. Best part about it, Andrew, our product works the best. It actually liquefies the waste. 
It's 100% biodegradable and 100% made in America. So if you guys are interested, the day it drops, Andrew's gonna have a video. Oh yeah. And uh, I, I I'm mean, excited for you, buddy. I, I couldn't do it without the help of Andrew and my friends. Uh, you got a lot, a lot of people uh, have your back in this RV community and uh, really exciting. Back to this coach, I wanna review your RV here. We're getting on, and I'm gonna ask you another question here in a moment, but we're getting, we've got a cement truck in front of us. We're getting on 75 right now. Yes. I wanna see the acceleration of your coach. Okay. We're going 40. I could be hammering down, but the cement truck is kind of messing us up, so I'm gonna kind of hang back here a little, and then I'm gonna give it all the juice. I'm not trying to drive like a jerk, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the cement truck here. Got a little B van back there. We're actually pulling ahead of him. Going 70 miles an hour, folks. So you're still only at 3,500 RPM. Yeah, like you low, didn't even hit four. Yeah, what's your fuel mileage in this? Uh, if you go over, you'll see. I think it's 8.2. I love it, so I didn't even play with this, but you've got the little trip, you know, the 8.4, that's strong. So, um, you know, a little bit of wind noise. Now, I am gonna be honest, me as a taller person, yes. can I put the steering wheel forward more? I don't think so. This is it, so yeah. I've either got a gangster lean back a little bit, which I don't really like doing. No, I can't even gangster lean back, so, I'm gonna be honest, guys, as a taller person, this isn't too bad for like a quick hour trip, but that's my biggest complaint. But I'm definitely very impressed with, it's, for 70 miles an hour, there could be a lot more wind noise coming from the back of the coach, the front, it's very tight. Uh, like, I just took my hands out the steering wheel. That I don't recommend that, but that's how comfortable this ride is and how stable this ride is. Right, and now you have cruise control set for 75. Just, just uh, yeah. hit set. So it's look. set right now on 70, yeah. So not only that, without using your feet, hit set four times plus set, one, two, three, four. It's gonna bring you to, no, 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 you don't even need to accelerate. I'm, I'm putting my foot over oh, the brake. Oh, okay. Case. Yeah, I'm just covering the brake pedal, yeah. So it accelerates you up and down. When, when I'm driving, half the time, like when I'm on major interstate, I'm not even hitting the accelerator or the brakes because now you can decelerate it and it's not gonna go like, boom. So I can go back down to 70 right now? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, same thing crazy right i really like that yeah it's it's definitely all those little creature comforts that make it a lot easier to use and a lot more user friendly now can i tell you one bad thing about this yeah okay so well andrew's driving we are trained professionals so the one thing when we are driving in the back here it does get awfully loud so me will and jen went on a road trip and Jen thought she could just lay back here and uh, she'd be able to do her work. Well, she ended up kind of feeling sick because back here, it's bumping a lot. Now, don't get me wrong. It is very comfortable sitting on this awesome Brooklyn bedding mattress, but we're on a very smooth road and it is very bumpy back here. So the one thing that we found is if you're not in the front seats, the best thing to do is to sit as close to the front as possible because already as I'm sitting here, you can tell that it's not as bumpy as the rear. I appreciate that. That's a little, the more you know. Yeah, now Matt, I made a mistake in a previous video. I was giving you a shout out. I was out at Las Vegas Motor Coach Resort and showing off their awesome tennis courts. We've been playing a lot of tennis. By the way, Matt smoked me yesterday. Hey. That was a good match, or two days ago. That was a great match. Not all heroes wear capes, y'all. What do you think our overall score is? We've probably played tennis at least a dozen times. Oh, it's pretty neutral. Nobody's ahead. It's very, I might be ahead one, you might be ahead one. It's pretty neutral. I made a mistake in this video. Las Vegas Motor Coach Resort. I said maybe someday you'll get a Class A, and I remember 
when we filmed, you said, nah, you're not really a Class A guy. You would probably go to a Super C. Yeah. So what would be, I mean, this is a great entry-level RV for you to kind of, you know, get, is this your first RV? Yeah. Yeah, to get your foot in the, in the door. Right. Get in the game. What do you think you're going to go? You, I mean, you have more no, RV knowledge in this segment than anybody else in the world. What's your next play going to be? Thank you. So... Um, you know, a lot of people gave me a hard time about not getting an Integra coach. Everybody knows I love Rightfully Integra coach. So. Right, rightfully so. The, the problem is, is technically I didn't buy this motorhome. It was like a, like a, it's a demo motorhome. And they ha there was no Integra coaches for me to get. So the next one is either going to be a demo or we're going to buy it ourselves. And the next motorhome is going to be one of two things. One of three things. It's either gonna be a demo Integra, a, uh, an Accolade XL 37M, or I will say, Nexus came out strong with that new Chevy Super C. So I don't know, you know, it, it really just depends on if I, like I don't wanna buy it. Yeah. I, I, you know, I'd rather have it for free. Only cause, you know, I don't have <laughs> accolade money, <laughs> but you know, I have the YouTube channel, which definitely helps. You, you know, it's like, and a lot of people, a lot of people kind of gave me crap about that, but like, Andrew, ask anybody that works at a car dealership, they get to drive the cars home for free. It's just part of the gig, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna drive whatever is free, absolutely. Right, rather, right. You know, for now, how long do you have this coach for? Do you have to give it back at a certain point? Or? Yeah, actually, uh, we'll probably be giving this back before the end of the month or by the end of the month. Man, I'm glad we got a chance to test drive this. Yeah. This is definitely, and how much money is this coach? What's the sticker and what do they really sell for? Uh, don't know the sticker. Sticker's probably like 140 something. See, the problem is like, it's like when was the 2022 built? Was it built in January or was it built in July? Cause those are two drastically different MSRPs. But when RV retailer sells this, uh, they're probably going to list it for around 99,000 and brand new they're probably like 109 115,000. Hey, that's this is going to be a great coach for yep. someone. Yep. Yep, uh, for sure. Yeah, 100 grand, great way to get into the game and and I like this RV too because it's simple. Uh you're you, you're not um you know some of the RVs that I review are very complex, so especially for a first time RVer this is the perfect way to kind of get your foot in the door, understand how to work the different systems, the generator, you know, your, your holding tanks, your inverters, all that good stuff. You know, you, you got to learn it. And if you can learn it in a platform like this, it's going to be much easier and, and much less to learn at once than if you get into the really complex motorhome. So if you're thinking about RVing, this is a great way to get your start without spending too much money. And then if you really like this and you want to, you know, step your game up, then, you know, I got all kinds of, uh, all kinds of videos on my channel. Now, this coach, you said it's going to be going for sale soon. If someone wants to buy this coach, who can they get a hold of? They can contact me, Matt at mattsrvreviews.com. Um, it's going to be at one of our dealership partner groups. Um, I don't know exactly where right now, but if you guys are interested in buying this, uh, let me know and, and I'll hook you up with it. Um, also, it's gonna come with the snap pads included. With nice. the, I got through all some sponsors. Yeah. It's gonna come with snap pads, with a Lippert Furion instant hot tankless water heater. Updated yep. Brooklyn bedding mattress. Upgraded Brooklyn bedding mattress, yes sir. 10,000 miles, I literally just got the oil changed, the tires rotated, the generator serviced. So it's pretty turnkey. And again, this is not somebody's forever motorhome. I knew it wasn't my forever motorhome and it won't be yours. But to have this for a few years, put put another 10 or 20,000 miles on it, and then upgrade to a, a diesel pusher America. Hey. You put 10,000 miles on this. How has your experience been overall, the 10,000 miles? Have you made some good memories and had some good times with this coach so far? Yeah, absolutely. The one thing I absolutely love about motorhomes, so so let me answer it this way. My best friends, other than Andrew, is, is Will and Jen. And Will and Jen and I, we go camping a lot together. And 
obviously when we're in their fifth wheel we have so much more fun fifth wheels are big and spacious i have my own space i can breathe the dogs have their space where with a motor home it's a lot smaller space but when you travel as much as i do dude i'm driving for six eight ten twelve hours in a day i just pull over andrew stop at a loves or a pilots the generator's always running and uh, I just pull over and sleep and that's one of the most awesome features and then Andrew half the time I don't even put the slide outs out yeah the slide outs are in yeah we did another review on this motorhome showing the whole tour I'll leave a link to that video in the description below man I really appreciate you letting me test drive your coach here any last words you have for the viewers out on YouTube yeah uh, thank you for watching guys if anybody knows a thing or two about a stinky black tank it's me we're we're not just slapping our name on something guys i've done the research watch the boring 40 minute video and as soon as you hear the announcement from andrew that liquefied is available that's the name of the product liquefied it's the mats rv reviews toilet chemical make sure you buy it give it a try i promise you guys it is better than any brand that you're using right now 100 percent I'll leave a link to that video in the description below as well. Greatly appreciate all of you subscribing to my channel and Matt's channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Beep, 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 beep.